So I have come to a place where homeless hang out. This is an abandoned building, but as you can see, there's a lot of litter left by the homeless and old food. There's a lot of flies around here. But I was driving by and I saw this abandoned building and I've always been attracted to abandoned buildings because I know that's where the homeless hang out. And you see it's kind of hidden um, by the public. So it's a good place to, to come and hide. nobody here right now but there's it's like children's clothes they're too small to be adult clothes so yeah this is where they hang out and I never knew this place was here a stuffed animal, a glass, a glass. It's sad that people have to live like this, right? And it goes further. This looks like a homeless campsite. Old blankets, shoes all over the place, beer bottles. There's a lot of flies around here. Some on bra, pants. Like I said, from the street, you can't tell that this place is here. Venice over there. But this is a perfect place because it's covered on top so they don't get wet. But it still gets cold in here, I imagine, especially in winter time. Another stuffed animal. often find in these campsites a lot of stuffed animals that tells me that children probably also stay here maybe with their parents oh <laughs> they were using this I guess for coverage There's a surgical mask right there. Now usually during the day you won't see 
the homeless at the campsites because they're out and about. suitcase but it looks like it's busted it looks like it's empty also Yeah, so when I was driving by, I passed by this building and it looked empty and abandoned. And I don't know, something said to me, stop. You know who that is. Um, and so I've passed this building many times before and it never occurred to me to stop and look. But what attracted me is that this building, it's covered in ivy. And so that's what attracted me to the building. And I said, let me stop and take a picture of the ivy covered uh, building. And then I came over here and I saw this litter here and I knew, oh, oh this looks like a homeless campsite. So I just wanted to show it to you guys. Again, it's completely covered up on top, so at least they don't get rain on them. Oh, there's another surgical mask right there. Somebody's glasses right there. Yeah, the homeless need prayers, guys. Please pray for the homeless, especially during this time of pandemic. You know, um, the homeless are suffering too. And a lot of them are afraid to stay inside shelters because violence does happen inside shelters, uh, sometimes more than outside. So some of the homeless don't like staying in the shelters. They prefer to take their chances outdoors. So thank you for stopping by. Um, this was a very impromptu thing. I never expected to run into this place. There's a, a scar, a scar, and again it goes back further, see? Yeah, so thank you for stopping by. And I try to post videos of the homeless, you know, homeless stories to educate people on the plight of the homeless people uh, so that it'll encourage you to treat them nicer because some people don't like the homeless right so I hope that my videos will educate you um, and let you see what's hidden sometimes right so thank you for stopping by I hope you come back and visit us don't forget to subscribe, ring that notification bell, and yeah, pray for the homeless. They need our prayers, okay, especially during these times. All right, sweetie, I got to get going. Bye-bye.